Hi guys, it's Eni, aka The Knock Trader, your friendly neighborhood swing trader, back again with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be doing another technical analysis report on... I'm only going to do four stocks today. Let's get straight into the video. Before we get into the video, please can you like and subscribe to the channel. Let's get to 300 nearly there and I've also got Facebook, Twitter and Instagram at the not trade on all social media platforms and my mailing list is in the <coughs> the link to my mailing list is in the description section below join my mailing list to get priority access to my free training course that I'm creating when my website goes up and you can also get access to my watch list the uh, link to my watch list is also in the description section below the live doc of my watch list but you can get it directly to your inbox and also get a, a directly to your inbox when I uh, get a new videos up. So let's get straight into the video. I'm going to keep this one short. I'm not going to go through all the ones that I went through in the last video because not much of progression has gone through, gone in those videos since um, in those stocks since I made the video yesterday. So I'm just going to go through a couple of stocks, other stocks that I identified. Well, not lie, I didn't really identify them. I saw some of them on some forums that I was uh, I was on, and I thought they were some great positions. Um, the first one is PEN which is Penumbra Inc. This one, it's got like a, a, a bit of a range here. I've tried to plot a line here, but the line wasn't really straight. So I think there's a kind of a range that this this line is, uh, has been a resistance on. There's a resistance in this kind of white box area. It's hold true to this uh, ascending triangle pattern. And it's right now at the support. This is really interesting to me because the 180 day simple moving average is acting as a support as well as the ascending triangle support lines so there's double support so what i want to see from this stock is on the four hour chart i need it to break the 15 day exponential moving average consolidate and then this potential entry there and ride it up to about here so there's a lot of room for growth here you can get yeah 1700 pips within about 10 days, 10, 15 days, I reckon. Because look, it went 2,500 pips in 13 days. So yeah, I think this is a great stock that, that could be uh, entered and it's a long position and the risk to reward would be pretty good. Um, the MACD and the RSI both corroborate my opinion. So the, the RSI is uh, going to pos positive territory and so is the MACD. It's just uh, it's curving upwards. On the daily chart, kind of the same thing again. Um, it's, a, it's a good position because you can set a tight stop loss, and the risk to reward will, uh, the risk to reward will be pretty good. I can imagine the risk to reward being so you could set a, like a three hundred pip stop loss to make about fifteen hundred pips. So that's one to five, which is really good. The next stock I'm looking at is CPST, Capstone Turbine. Similar, similar. Um, shape it's kind of like an ascending triangle yeah i would call it ascending triangle kind of similar shape same kind of analysis it's at the support line um it's reached this point twice before and it looks like it might be on its way to reach it again you never know it might go halfway similar to the way it did this time so um you could be careful for that so it might not go all the way this is another yeah so look this is another line that we could plot Kind of. So here, it has a tendency that it could go halfway, so you have to be wary of that. But actually, halfway would still make it reach the top point, so that that's something that not to worry about. One hundred eighty day simple moving average is curving downwards, but I think it's flatlining, so I don't think that's too much an issue because I feel like it's going to flatline and curve up. So um, the the um motion of the price is naturally going up on the four hour chart much of the same it's at the support it's it's about to break the the um, 15 day exponential moving average once it does that i think there's an entry and then you ride it up to here once again it's a great risk to reward ratio you're risking you're trying to make 14 pips you could risk about six pips so one to two which is good two to one um 
Next one is, well, I lied. I'm going to go through one of the ones I went through before, which is Dax. Dax I, I went through before, and if you follow me on um, Instagram, remember my Instagram, I got Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have known that I've actually posted that this this is going to, that I was going to short Dax. I, I've entered a short petition in Dax, and I set my stop loss at one two one two one zero zero I, I said this in the previous video that i thought dax might go all the way up to here but it hasn't it stayed stuck true to this um this ascending uh channel pattern and i feel like it's going to come down to at least this line here which is one 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 six oh oh so um it's great risk to reward again you risk about 113 pips let's say 110 pips to make uh 350 pips so that's about uh, three to one, let's say three to one, which is good. Um, yes, yeah, so I've shorted this. I actually entered this position. Um, might have entered a bit preemptively, but I'm ready to take that risk because I feel like it's it's already started making that motion. It could possibly climb up, but I'm I'm pretty confident that it's gonna make its way down. It's hit this point one, two, three, four, now five times, and each time it's retraced down. Um, also, another thing that makes me quite confident that Dex is gonna short go down is that gold. Looks like it's about to rally up. Now, you must be wanting to wondering, what does this have to do with DAX? Well, gold is inversely related to the dollar. So, um, normally when the, um, the Dow Jones or some of the major US indices are on their way down, the gold is on the way, is way up. The reason is that in times of uh, recession or when the major indices or the market in general is doing badly, People a lot of times try and find value in gold as a safe haven for their to protect the value of their uh, investments. So that's why gold is inversely related to the dollar, which is inextricably inextricably tied to the U.S. indices and the U.S. and when the U.S. sneezes, we catch a cold. So while DAX is not directly correlated to gold, a lot of the time because DAX is the DAX and the FTSE and a lot of the other European big uh, indices are kind of related to the Dow Jones in the sense that they kind of move in the same kind of motion for the most part, not completely, then there's a slight correlation between, inverse correlation between gold and the DAX. This is kind of a bit of a long shot and this is not something you should have as a rule of thumb, but I, whenever I see the gold making major moves in one direction, I can sometimes think, I'll, I can come to the conclusion that sometimes that it might lead to an inverse relationship of the DAX or the FTSE for example so right now the DAX is here, here's a support here here's support here, here's support here it looks like it's going to climb up as well back to 1350 um, even if it doesn't go all that far all we need to know is that the DAX is climbing yeah the MACD is climbing, RSI is climbing on the daily chart once again, the MACD and RSI looks like they're making their way to positive territory. It looks like they're going to climb some more. And if you look at it on a, a bigger time scale, look at the, look at what the gold has been doing. It's been creating a kind of a coil for some time. You, you can call it a sending triangle, or you can call it a coil. I'm not sure which one it is, but it's going to hit a critical mass here. Then it's going to decide what it's going to do. It might do it before that. Right now, it's uh, what what you need to say is what you need to understand is that what kind of behavior is exhibited when it's hit the resistance here it hit the resistance and it kind of just kind of fluctuated around there for a while before it started making this move down it did it the same here so it hit the resistance and fluctuated for a while here so i can i could be safe in saying that it's hit the resistance one it's not just going to retrace down to the bottom straight away i think it's going to fluctuate come and hit it a couple of times before it decides to go back down to the support so i'm kind of confident in saying that gold might hit the resistance a couple more times and if, it, if gold is going up, then I can kind of confidently say I feel that like DAX might be coming down. So that's the weekly chart for da DAX. Also, yeah, if you look at the weekly chart for DAX, it kind of double bottomed here. Um, this is as far back as 2016, but look, when it hits support, it double bottoms at support again. So it's, it's hit support, come here. It might come back down here again, but you just have to look at historical data it might come back down hit support and then make its way up but we don't know that for sure but that's just something to think about so um but that that doesn't that doesn't really affect this particular trade because we're not looking at it at such a wide time scale all i'm saying is that i feel like price is going to come down 
if not hit this support, then at least hit this line. I'm playing it conservative and just going to this line because this line is a previous uh, resistance. So yeah, that's that's just my trades. I kept it short and sweet for this one um, for my technical analysis report. Um, remember to watch my other video I did on the Masters Investors um, a show that, that I went to in London. And also uh, any of my other videos that I have on technical analysis reports. It's good to look at some of the previous videos just to see of some of the predictions I've made and see how they panned out over time. Because I keep, I keep um, updating my analysis of these uh, stocks and then you can see how well I'm doing or how badly I'm doing on some of these uh, predictions that I'm making for these stocks. But for the most part, I've been doing really well. If you check my last video, I was 5 for 5. Um, so yeah, any Noctay trader signing out.